Hi, this is Lonnie Barrett from EasyOrgSites.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to administer your WordPress as a content management system website. So scroll down to the bottom of the page, and we will click the Admin Login. You'll be prompted for an admin username and password. So enter those, and then click Login. On the left side, under the dashboard, you have links and you will click the Pages link, and then select any page that you wish to edit. In this case, we're going to edit the home page. And we will select the text that we want to replace, and then paste in the new text. And we don't want that all in bold, so we will just click the Bold button again to take that off of bold. We can make part of this bold. We can also change colors and italicize, and you'll, you'll notice that many of the buttons are very similar to what you would find in Microsoft Word or a similar word processing program. Now we want to add a photograph, so we insert the cursor where we want the photograph to appear, and then we click the Add an Image button. Click Browser Uploader, insert your cursor in the Browse bar, and then click Browse. Locate the image that you wish to insert on your computer. Then click Upload. And then we want the photograph to be left aligned. So we click Left. And we want it to be medium in size. So we click Medium. And now we'll click Insert into Post. The image is still a little bit big for our page. So just left click on it. And you can use the drag bars to drag the image and make it a little bit smaller. Once that looks OK to you, if you want, you can add a hyperlink by selecting the text that you wish to hyperlink. Click the Link button and insert the hyperlink. Click Insert, and there you have a hyperlink. Now click the Update page. And we can click Preview to see the finished product in our web browser. And there are the changes that we just made. Next, we're going to modify the events calendar. Click on the events calendar link, and we will add an event. And we will select a date. You can click on the calendar and select a date. And then you can click in the box to select the time. Click on the clock. This is in military time. And then you don't need to enter the date if the end time is the same date. So just go back to your clock and enter the end time. Then click Add Event. And there it is. Now we're going to add a banner ad for our advertising program. Go to Tools and click Max Banner Ads Pro. And let's say that we just want to add another banner to appear at the bottom of the page. Click Add More Banners. Add a banner name. Then we'll click Upload from My Computer. Click Browse. And then locate the banner. Then add a link. And then click Save. And that's it. Now we're going to take a look at the statistics for the website. So click on Stat Press. And here you will see a, an overview of uh, visitors to your web page, uh, along with uh, search engine spiders and some other information. 
Down below you will see additional uh, information about what search terms were used to find your website and uh, what referring sites have sent visitors to your, your website. So some pretty useful information there for you to take a look at. Now we're going to go back to the website and let's take a look at what we've just added. There you see the photograph, the text, and the hyperlink that we added. And also under event schedule you'll see that our food share project that we added to the calendar shows up. That's about it. Um, it's just it's just that easy to maintain your WordPress as a content management system website. So we we'll look forward to seeing you in some other FAQ videos.